The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Our readings today focus on names and how we speak of things and the language we use. We seem to live in a time when it can be challenging to simply talk with one another. Choosing the right thing to say can seem like walking on pins and needles. At our Christmas gatherings, some may have found it difficult to find topics that were considered safe rather than off limits. In many parts of society, it is increasingly difficult to find a modicum of civility. I think we can all agree that the old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, is absolutely wrong. Language can be soul-crushing and spirit-wrenching. As we move into the new year, perhaps we can think about going against the grain and speaking in ways that lift people up. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Do you believe there can be power in a name? Can a name have power? It is certainly the case that not knowing a name can lead to a sense of being powerless. Just ask any teacher who thought they could control a classroom without knowing the names of their students. You over there stop that is not nearly as effective as Johnny, pay attention. As a child, you could probably gauge the degree of trouble into which you had fallen by the name your parent chose to employ. Peggy, eat your peas, was not nearly as serious as Mary Margaret Elizabeth Smith, get in this house immediately. And most parents can probably recall a time when they were so frazzled that they blurted out the entire list of their children's names, and maybe even a few of the pet's names, until they landed on the correct name of the current culprit. There is certainly a value in knowing a name, but do you believe there can be power in a name. In ancient times, one did not give out one's name lightly, since doing so could put one at the beck and call of another. Even today, one may regret giving out one's name or the modern equivalent, our cell phone number and email address to someone who is overly inclined to ask for favors. It is out of that context that the Israelites in our reading from the book of Numbers regard themselves as God's chosen people because their leaders have been empowered to invoke the name of God in blessing them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Similarly, Paul in the letter to the Galatians indicates that we, as children of God, are empowered to call upon Abba, Father. More precisely, Paul believes that it is the spirit of Jesus in our heart that cries out, Abba, Father. Abba being the rather intimate way that Jesus invites us to address God as our Father, and Father being a rather explicit way of indicating our relationship with God. So we have certainly been empowered to call upon the name of the Lord, but do you believe there can be power in a name? 
Today, we celebrate Mary, the mother of God, a simple peasant girl with a rather common name, even in her own time, but with an awesome and singular title. Throughout her life, Mary would have called upon the name of the Lord often, and her trust in her Abba Father gave her the courage to become the mother of Jesus, a name that means God saves. Mary and Joseph gave Jesus the name that was revealed to them by an angel. Mary and Joseph believed in the power of a name. But do you believe there can be power in a name? If you do, or if you are simply curious enough to find out, let me make a few suggestions for the coming year. If you find yourself low, or discouraged, or weak, or in need of healing, and you've run out of words to pray, gently and softly link your name to Jesus. Simply pray, David, Jesus, or Margaret, Jesus. Be sure to use your name. If you have a particular concern about a friend or a loved one, try linking their name to the name of Jesus. If you find yourself in disagreement with someone, try linking your name and their name with Abba, Father, to remind yourself that you are both children of God. I believe Abba, Father, can bring you peace and kindness. I hope that is your experience as well. Let us pray this year that God will bless us in his mercy as often as we call upon his name. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace.